from Angelo's Edge. Uh, got a little knife here. It's not really little. I'm gonna. It's rusted out real good. I've had it's probably in my garage for years. I think I found it in my toolbox. I haven't found it. It's pretty old. I think I just looked it up online. It's a Serrade Walden New York USA 225H. Uh, I'm gonna try buffing it all out and, and then resharpen it. It has two blades on it. You see they're rusted good, so. If not anything, I get all the rust off, I'll be able to, I'm gonna clean it up and it'll be a little project. Let's see, here's the, what it looks like now. So, uh, older style, I think it's called a slip joint. So, I am gonna start cleaning this up and then once I'm done cleaning it up, I'll sharpen it. All right. Bye. All right, here's a little update. I sanded a lot of the surface rust off. It's not quite ready to be sharpened, but I got it looking a lot better. Let's see, it's got like, actually I have a shine almost mirror image. I, I'm gonna try to get a little better, but you can see the, there's deep rust marks in it. There, you can see it right there. The one. I looked it up. It's it's prior to 1975. That's how old it is because it has the the what is it called? Schrade Walden label USA 225 H because apparently that I guess the H could stand for hunter or has a lanyard hole. But it's like a, I got the other blade kind of. I got to do some more work on it. I want to try to get it as clean as I can before I sharpen it. But it it's it's uh, taken. It's 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 old. You can see it's deep rust down there, and I'm not going to be. Eh, it'd be. You know, I'm going to clean it up best I can. It'd be like some patina on it. Real true light. True. We'll see. It's night. It's pre 1975. So what would that be? Uh, pre 75. What is that? How old is that? 1975. Well, yeah. Let's see, we're doing some. Uh, okay, so probably about 40, 45 years old, roughly. At least that old because it has the uh, the Walden name on it. So that's what I looked it up, and I guess that's a carbon steel on the actual blades. That's probably why it rusted really bad. So I'm gonna try to get it a little more clean. And once I get it, I might do one more update before I sharpen it. Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to try to get a little better. I want to shine it up more. All right, bye. Here's a little update on the knife. Uh, I got a, a hair shaving sharp edge on the first blade. It's sharp. Let's see if I, I got some newspaper right here. I still got one more blade to do on this knife. But, uh, of course, there we go. See if I can... Yeah, these, I mean, they make real, look how thin this blade is. It's a, it's a thin blade. Yeah, I guess I could take this off. So let me take this off and I gotta, still got to do the other blade. This blade is good. I got this. Yeah, it was kind of tough because it was a slip, like a, a, what do you call it? Flat grind. 
So it's always hard to sharpen your flat grinds because it's a straight angle. So you're gonna really clamp the crap out of the knife. But let's see, here we go. Those lines are obviously just from my. Really, this is all crinkled up on this side. So. Oh yeah. This old hunting knife, they make them. I believe I read it's a carbon. They they didn't they knew what they were doing with the. Look okay, at it's actually kind of reminds me of a spider co with their full flat grind so you get all slice you get all slicing right there and it's thin it's a thin blade yeah so let's see i don't know if i got any hair what we got here I got any hair that i can see the show Yeah, it's a, it's a shaving sharp on that side. So, there's a hair on it. We got a, I also got a new stone today. I don't know if that helped me with the, I never, I got, I bought a, an 80 grit Lansky stone. So, I started to blade out right off the bat. Took it right down 25. And took it all the way up to 2,000. Started at 80 grit and took it up to 2,000 sapphire stone. So this this blade is ready. Yeah. So I still gotta get this blade sharp right here. This one wasn't. As, this actually I don't know if it was used that much. It's not now. Yeah, maybe it's. I don't know. It doesn't. I can feel a little edge on it, but, but look how thin these blades are with this. Uh, I, I, it's called like I said a 225H. And I mean, it, it's the, like the, you can see it's bad condition. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, but look at I got this one sharp, like a sharp. No, I'm, I'm wondering if it was sharpened a lot because it almost looks like it has a recurve on it. Let's see if I can get a straight up shot. Kind of looks like it has a recurve, but, but it's sharp now. All right, I'm going to go to the next blade and update you then. Bye. Okay, here we are with my update. I finished sharpening it, cleaning it up, and here's what the, it looks like now. Hopefully, when I I'll get some before and after pictures, it is sharp. Both blades are. So still, you can see the the metal. I mean, it's shiny though. It's, I mean, it's. But you can see where the rust was. There's that. And then let's see, I'll put the other. Here's the other blade. Like I said, both of them are sharp. This blade is not as shiny as the, the clip point. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's going to be, I guess, a drop point. I guess I'll go all the way across. Anyways. So. Here to focus when it focuses in. There you go. So this is a Schrade Walton Walden 225 folding hunter knife. So that's basically what it looks like right there. So I, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find what it is. I, all I could find is a carbon steel. So. So that's what it is. Let's see how big this puppy is. Let's see, so a fairly large knife. Let's see. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's every bit of nine inches long. The whole out the the whole thing. One, two, three, four, four inch blade. So that the clip points four inch. And this one, I believe this, it might be the same. Might be a little three and a half. One, two, three, four. That's four inch too. They're both four inch blades. So, but yeah. So there's the finished, well, as much as I'm gonna finish it. it open 
them back up a little bit. There we go. Let's try this. How about that? I think you can almost see me in the reflection. Maybe, I don't know. You see that? You see that uh, cut on that with the, both the edge on that? Oh, yeah. If I can get the edge showing like that on this one. Oh, yeah, they're sharp. All right. All right, well, that's the Trade Walden 225H folding hunter. Bye.